Universal Audio has released their LA2A Tube Compressor plugin. Right now this one is free until the 31st of October and you can get a really good deal on the upgrade to the full UAD LA2A bundle. Now the LA2A Tube Compressor uses the same algorithm as the Universal Audio LA2A Silver. But to my ears they do sound different which is interesting. In this video we're gonna play a little Sherlock Holmes and find out if there are any differences or not and I'm imagining things. The LA2A is a program dependent compressor. This means that level and threshold will change the attack and release times of this compressor. So a change in input level can already make a difference in behavior. I will refer to the tube compressor version as TC from here on. TC and Silver have almost identical EQ curves. Holding shift and adding one click will match them perfectly. Harmonics are mostly the same. The TC has a tad more added harmonics. Now comparing the compression curves at different frequencies, something remarkable happens. At 50 and 100 Hz and 7.5 and 10 kHz you have basically the same compression ratio for both compression and limit settings. But when you change the test frequencies to the mid range, starting with around 250 Hz, you'll see that the silver starts compressing at a lower threshold. So more compression at the mid range. This more firm compression goes up to around 3.5 kHz. The compression ratio stays the same. This is remarkable to me since these two compressors use the same algorithm. My only explanation is that the sidechain which you control with the HF dial on the silver add is missing on the TC version has an impact on how exactly the compression behaves relative to the frequencies even when not used. You can hear that with a conventional shootout. Here's an acoustic guitar and the loudness for both compressors have been matched. For me the silver has a tad more sparkle. The transient stood out more and overall it sounded just a bit more polished. Before we do more tests this video is made possible by DistroKid. With DistroKid you get InstaShare. This is the file sharing option of DistroKid which has proven to be very useful for me. You can upload any file and share it to friends and family and of course clients like I do. The freedom in how long you can keep the files up or add files to an existing upload has proven to be extremely valuable to me. It's included in the DistroKid subscription. Get 7% off of your first year with my link in the description. I have set the TC and Silver to use the same compression curve at the same level at around 1000 Hz. That can be done with the dial on 30 on the Silver and 35 on the TC. Look what happens if I lower the frequency. You will see that the TC compresses more in the low end. It's about 1 to 1.5 decibel in the low end. And you can hear that as well. Pay attention to the low end of this synth when I AB between the silver and TC. 
I took great care that the loudness was the same for the mid to high frequency so you can hear the low end differences better. The TC version has more constant low end throughout. Let's do the same with the high end. It's calibrated so that 1000Hz has the same compression curve and let's increase the frequency. This results in a 1.5 to 2 decibels more compression for the TC at the high end. And again you can hear this too, pay attention to the sharp S in the next vocal loop. Got to catch it before it passes on by Out of sight Got to catch it before it passes on by Out of sight Got to catch it before it passes on by Out of sight Gotta catch it before it passes on by This is on, 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 this is on UAD tube compressor and silver The same algorithm under the hood and still differences in sound Remarkable Let me know in the comments which one you prefer now, how do the Universal Audio LA-2A plugins compare to other brands? The answer might surprise you and I will show you in the video which is displayed on screen and linked in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe.